what is going on everyone we are back in monster hunter rise and today i want to go over a spread build that i recently showed off in one of my previous videos where i hunted toby kadachi in that video i tried to do kind of a, like a little speed run i'm not the best at speed runs but i got a three minute time and a guy wanted to see this build so here's the video let's get started Alrighty guys, to start off this video, I want to do a little I wanted to do something a little different, especially since this game is brand new to some of you guys. This is the kit I rock with my spread HBG that I'm gonna be talking about. We pretty much have <clears throat> let's go check it out. We pretty much have the needle berries, which let us craft more spread ammo, which is needed for spread one. We have gunpowder level three, which is needed to craft gun uh which is needed to craft spread ammo level three. And then we also have blaze nuts, which allow us to craft more gunpowder level three. Now, for most hunts, you won't need these this many resources. You probably won't even you probably won't even dip into your blaze nut resources. But I just carry it just in case we have slicing ammo, shrapnel ammo and spread ammo. But we're going to be using spread ammo pretty much 100 percent of the time now. Let's jump into the armor set right now we are rocking the magnamello hbg with the magnamello hbg we have level three spread pretty much we have level three in all of the ammo types the regular ammo types so normal ammo pierce ammo spread ammo but we're specifically focusing on spread ammo we have the rachna helm we have the diablos mail Valstrak braces, Rachna coil, and the Azeroth greaves. And with our talisman, we just have a two slot talisman, a two two slot talisman, which with flinch free on it. Now, you will need to be master, not master, you will need to be hunter rank level 100 to be able to get Valstrak braces. So be prepared to get to that, you know, that hunter rank. So with the decos, I'm just going to quickly glide over these decos, pause to read if you need to see which ones they are. So guys, jumping into these skills, you will see I have a skill called guard. When you go into your item box, and you go over and need this is for the new guys our veteran hunters will know this if you go to customize bow gun you have two options you have the shield and the power barrel the power barrel increases your attack and the shield lets you have an auto guard which is pretty much um a shield sort of like the lance but it auto guards for you now you cannot the auto guard will not trigger if you're in the middle of a reload or if you're in the middle of shooting so make sure you time time your shots well and your reloads really well with this so jumping back into our skills that is why we have guard because we use the shield attachment this allows us to stay in battle and what guard allows us to do is to conserve our stamina as much as possible and it also reduces our knockback so we can stay on top of that monster specifically since this is a spread build we need to be as close as possible we don't want to get knocked back too far and we also need stamina because once our stamina runs out the auto guard does not work which is um how any shielded weapon works so we want to reduce this allows this reduces our stamina depletion when we get hit and it greatly reduces the impact of the attacks which is the knockback so the key to this build is pretty much the spread up right so spread up increases our spread ammo now i'm not a numbers guy so i'm not going to be able to tell you percentage values on how much this increases but you need this we also were able to slot in for crit boost and weakness exploit these pair together very well when we hit weak points we get 50 percent in credit increased affinity with level three ex uh, weakness exploit and with crit boost we get 40 percent increased damage to our critical hits so those pair pair really well together we have enough recoil down to reduce our recoil to nothing we have enough deviation which is level two so that our shots don't go left right up down 
and we have enough reload speed for our spread shots to where it's pretty much an instant reload now these other skills flinch free dragon heart and offensive guard you don't really need i would spec in i would try to spec in one level of french flinch free so you don't get knocked back by your by your uh fellow hunters but you don't really need it and that's pretty much all i have for you guys uh go check out the video that i did before it should have been plugged in the beginning of this video where i use this in action on a solo hunt versus toby kadachi if you would like to see any other monsters hunted with this solo let me know down in the comments and i'll catch you guys later peace